Hey, I'm Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where we demonstrate the exact tools and processes we use within our own real estate investing business. Today's tip is specifically centered around Podio, and we're going to overcome one of Podio's shortcomings, which is importing data without being able to use the unique ID. Okay, so now Podio has got a pretty good importing feature but they don't allow you to call back to the unique ID, which means sometimes it's hard to update data via import. So today I'm gonna to show you how that we can use a really quick Globy flow to ensure that we have some kind of unique identifier, some kind of tag that allows us to import and export data and keep our data intact, all right? So to get started with this, I'm gonna take the example of a contacts app. So imagine that we have a list of contacts like we're displaying here. And we have the problem in that all the phone numbers and email addresses are wrong and maybe some of the names are wrong and we need to update this. We can update it right in Podio, but sometimes it's just not as fast or as efficient, especially if you're talking about hundreds of documents or something like that. So what we'll wanna be able to do is quickly potentially export this, give it to a VA and have them update it and then import it back and not lose any of the data that we had, all right? So now if I were to do this within Podio, as it stands, I would go ahead and do an Excel export and sure, let's include everything. And as that exports, I'll be able to grab this and update it. The problem is when I update a phone number, or update anything else, getting it back into Podio is gonna be really, really tough because Podio needs something to latch on to to know that's the record you wanna update. Now you might think, well, last name should work, right? Uh, maybe, sometimes, but how many times do we see two people with the exact same last name? Moreover, what if the last name is incorrect to begin with? Maybe um, this one up here should have been Jackson. Okay, so last name is just simply not a sufficient way to link back and import our data back into Podio. So what we need is a unique ID. Now the good news is Podio captures a unique ID for every single record. The bad news is they don't let you import based on it, which is really, really silly, but it's something we have to overcome. Okay, so let's get into it and let's see how we can quickly configure our Podio setup so that we can have that unique ID readily available to us, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create within the app, and actually I recommend doing this for every single app that you have. I really started doing this for everything. It's just that way you always have it ready to go. You might not import and export on everything, but doing this for every app I think is a really good practice, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the app, modify the template. We're going to add a text field. Now a text field instead of a calculation field, you might be thinking, well, can't we calculate the unique ID? Sure, you can, but you also cannot import based on a calculation field. So that doesn't work either. So create a text field, make it a single line. And the other thing we're gonna do is make it always hidden. And the reason for this is we don't really care about this data when we're in the everyday Podio in and out, all right? What we care about it for is importing and exporting. Even if I make it always hidden, it'll still show up on an import export unique ID, all right, click done. You put it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Now you see it's not here, I don't see it anywhere. Now what we're going to do, we're gonna automatically populate that. The other reason why it's good to have it hidden is so that our users, me included, cannot click into it and update it. So to get Podio to automatically populate that field, we're gonna to go to Globy Flow and make a really super simple flow. Now, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your workspace is updated, so go ahead and refresh. And once refreshed, we're gonna go into our Contacts app, we're going to add a new flow, a manual flow to start, and I'll tell you why in a second. This uh, flow is just populate unique ID. The action is to update the item, make it silent, do the um, unique ID field, and the value we're going to do as the Podio app item ID formatted. All right, and that's it. And then we're going to make sure that anytime I create a new item, that flow is triggered. All right, now 
you could be thinking, okay, well, why didn't you just build in that action here, update the item? You can do that, it's fine, but the reason I like to make manual flows a lot more than I used to is because you're able to run the flows on their own. So what I mean by that is in our contacts app right now, those unique IDs are not populated yet. So I'm able to retroactively go back and populate those really quickly. So I can just take this flow here and click run. And it says enter the maximum number of items to run. I'm gonna put zero, I want it to run it on all. Click okay and it's gonna start running through my app and updating everything. It's gonna do it all for me. So all those 51 contacts are gonna be updated. So if I were to take this and look at Natalie, for example, you can see that it updates the unique ID to 51, all right? What's cool about this is this unique ID is now a field, it's a text field, which I'm now able to use as my primary key in import data. So this is why this is so important. I recommend doing this for every single app that you have that allows you to be able to import and export data. Now, where is that? Um, you'll actually see it if I, it's, it's a field that exists. This, you can see all the unique IDs coming in. Now, again, I don't care about that as a business owner right now, so I'm gonna hide it. But where I can use it is import export, which I'll show you next. So is this done yet? Yeah, it's done, okay? So now everything's updated. So now I'm gonna do that same export again and I'm gonna update some stuff. I'm gonna, yeah, let's do that. All right, so it exported the data. Now assume that we're gonna like give this to a VA or maybe you're gonna do it yourself. You're gonna take this Excel file and you're gonna start updating some stuff. So let's take one of these and demonstrate that. We have the unique ID in here. Don't change it, that's our key to get back into Podio. So let's take Nora Isaac and let's change Nora's last name to Isaacs with an S, all right? And let's change her phone number as well. All right, and let's do Haley, um, let's change in the spelling of Haley's name as well, all right? So we have Haley and um, Nora. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-import this and we're gonna tell Podio to now take the new last name, new first name, and the new phone number and uh, update everything. And we're gonna use the unique ID as our primary key. All right, so make sure this is saved somewhere because we're gonna use it to upload. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna call it upload. Now we're gonna go back to the contacts app and we're going to do a data import. What Excel file do you wanna use? Now you can also do this with Google Drive, which is honestly what I usually use but this is just gonna be really fast, so. Upload. This data mapping that we're gonna do next is crucial. So you have to tell it what fields you want to match up. So the unique ID certainly has to match up with the unique ID. First name with first name, last name with last name. The mobile textable number is also going to be updated because I changed that one. That's all I want to update for now, all right? So just put those fields in there. And let's go down to next. And then this is the point where we tell it what our primary key is, where we say, if you see that it's got the same unique ID, update it instead of creating a new one. So if we didn't have this link, we would it would take these 51 contacts and add 51 more contacts to our database, which is obviously what we don't want to do. Sometimes we want to do that, but certainly, not in this case. So we're gonna turn off, so it's, it's guessing that you wanna use last name as your primary key, no way. We know that won't work because of Nora Isaac's last name. We changed it, right? So turn that one off and turn on the unique ID. Import 51 rows. Now what it's gonna do, it's not gonna add anything. It's just gonna update everything. So what we should see as it finishes is that Nora, Nora's last name is now changed to Isaacs. And her phone number is changed to 555-5555. And what about Haley? Same thing, we changed the spelling of her name from H-A-I to H-A-L-E-Y, okay? And we would not have been able to do any of this without that unique ID link, okay? Now this is crucially important for deliverables and scope, your renters, your leases, really anything that you could ever see yourselves 
importing and exporting, I really recommend you create these super simple flows. And again, just to recap on what those are, populate unique ID, super simple, and then just make sure every time you create a new item to trigger that, populate it, and you'll be good to go. You have nothing to worry about. You'll always have a, a link to uh, your data, and you'll always be able to do a really easy import and export and make, make use of all the functionality. All right, so hopefully, that wasn't too technical for you. Let me know if you have any questions or maybe you've run into a different scenario where you've it's been difficult to import and export. I'm happy to help you out. Put it in the comments here and maybe we can do a follow-up video. Until next time, feel free to check out all of the tips and tricks available at IncomeDigs.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.